It is the 2nd of May, 2016. My name is Ralph Turciano. I'm here once again to review with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. Starting off with number one. Many of you may be familiar with nicotinamide riboside, another positive article in regard to it. A vitamin stops the aging process of organs. That's the, the title of the research article. And this is considered a breakthrough for regenerative medicine. To quote the study, Parallel studies in regard to nicotinamide riboside have revealed the comparable effect on stem cells of the brain and skin. This work can have very important implications in the field of regenerative medicine. We're not talking about introducing foreign substances into the body, but rather restoring the body's ability to repair itself with a product that can be taken with food. This work on the aging process also has the potential for treating diseases that can affect and be fatal in young people like muscular dystrophy. Again, that was nicotinamide riboside. Number two, rosemary aroma. Remember, just the smell of rosemary may help you remember to do things. Now, this is the essential oil rosemary, but let's go into the study. The aroma of rosemary essential oil may improve prospective memory in healthy adults. The findings suggest that this essential oil may enhance the ability to remember events and to remember complete or remember two complete tasks at particular times in the future. The findings may have implications for treating individuals with memory impairments. It supports previous research in regard to rosemary, indicating that the aroma of rosemary essential oil can enhance cognitive functioning in healthy adults, here extending to the ability to remember events and to complete tasks in the future or otherwise i.e. remember to do things number three now this is in regard to a certain pesticide keep in mind this came out of the american academy of pediatrics aerial spraying to combat mosquitoes linked to increased risk of autism in children specifically a 25 percent increase but let's look at the study the pesticide was called pyrethroid the, they found that children living in zip codes in which aerial pesticide spraying has taken place each summer since 2003 were approximately 25% more likely to have an autism diagnosis or other documented developmental delays compared to those in zip codes that use other methods of pesticide distribution outside of spraying, such as spreading granules through using hose or droplet applicators. What the researchers are trying to get here is basically look at different ways to protect your children in areas where there's mosquito issues. Just don't go spraying in the entire neighborhood randomly with a perithroid, in this case, perithroid pesticide. Again, this is the top, what we feel the top three health articles over the past seven days. And I hope to see you all again next week. And thank you very much for always listening. See you then. Bye.